Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are making mock chu. Mock chu is a recipe you may not have heard of before, but it's something you desperately need in your life. Uh, it's basically a, a Cajun style side dish of stewed corn, but it's really so much more than that. It's huge on flavor. I first had it when we were visiting New Orleans and I fell in love with it. And I've made it my way that has uh, a couple of different tips that'll uh, help you make it awesome. So uh, this is something that I actually bring to a lot of parties and everybody loves it every time. So let me show you how to make it. The first thing we wanna do is get our corn ready. You can use frozen corn or canned corn, but I prefer to use fresh corn and I'll tell you why in a second. So go ahead and cut the corn off of the cob here into a bowl. If you're using fresh corn, this is a great tip. So we're gonna go ahead and take these cobs and we're gonna squeeze out as much of that milk of the milk as we can. These have a lot of uh, flavor and this milk that squeezes out of the corn adds some silky creaminess to your final mock chew. All right, the corn is ready, so let's go ahead and get chopping. So here I am using a red bell pepper and some onion. And I'm also using a jalapeno pepper for a little bit of spice factor for me. Next, we have our cooking station set up and we're gonna go ahead and start with some bacon. I have my pan heated up to a good uh, medium or medium high heat. And I have four strips of bacon chopped. Go ahead and add it to your pan. And a lot of people actually make this recipe with bacon grease only or butter. You can use either of those, but I love to use bacon in mine for a nice flavor addition, and it's my own special machu twist. We're gonna go ahead and cook down the bacon till it's nice and crispy. All right, the bacon is nice and crispy here, so next we'll go ahead and add a chopped onion. It's a medium-sized onion. And I have a red bell pepper that has been chopped and my jalapeno pepper. You can use celery here if you'd like as well. So let's go ahead and stir. And if you wanted to, you could have removed the bacon and only cook with the bacon grease, but uh, I don't know, why would you do that? <laughs> I love the bacon. And go ahead and add your corn at this point. I like to add the corn along with the other vegetables and give it a little bit of a longer cook time so that we get some caramelization on the corn. And that's gonna bring out the natural sweetness of the corn. Let's go ahead and stir this up. And we're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes or so until you start to uh, see a bit of caramelization and browning on the corn and the other ingredients. All right, it's smelling good in here, my friends. And we got some good color on our corn. So now we're gonna do the seasonings. And here I have uh, some Cajun seasonings. This is my homemade Cajun seasoning blend. And uh, you'll add about a tablespoon or so, and you can really adjust to your preference if you wanna add maybe a teaspoon only, or if you wanna add more, go for it. I mean, Cajun seasoning is one of those things you just, to preference really. And a little bit of salt and pepper to your personal tastes. And go ahead and stir this together and we'll cook it to uh, cook out the uh, rawness of the spices for just about a minute or so. and We'll let that de develop in there a little bit. All right. So next, we'll go ahead and add a quarter cup of chicken stock to the pan, and then we'll reduce the heat. And we're gonna simmer this for about 10 to 15 minutes to really let all those flavors develop and bloom. So you can see how nice and creamy it is in the pan here from all that silky corn milk. However, if you'd like to really accentuate that creaminess, go ahead and add a half cup of either milk or heavy cream. The heavy cream will give you a lot more thickness, but milk is a great addition if you don't wanna to go uh, too, too heavy on the calories. Go ahead and stir it in, and we're just gonna simmer it for about five minutes to really warm it through until it gets to a nice level of creaminess that you prefer. Plus a little bit of hot sauce, guys. Got some homemade Louisiana style hot sauce. Totally up to you. A lot of people make this recipe with just bacon grease, or you can use butter instead of using bacon. Also, you can remove the bacon bits after you've rendered it, but really, uh, why would you want to? It's so delicious. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. Seriously, 
You guys are gonna love this. Makchu, my friends, I hope you guys love it as much as we do. It's definitely the side dish that you had no idea you needed. So, uh, hey, if you're looking for another side dish idea, you gotta try my potato salad. I actually put a Cajun spin on that, it's really delicious. Uh, or if you're looking for something to serve your mock chu with, uh, check out my shrimp po' boy recipe. That is delicious, uh, perfect for lunch or for dinner. So, uh, all right guys, I hope to see you in the kitchen next time. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness, bye.